Surgeon Dr. Rehmer Gilani is there and today I will show you different uh, set of orthopedic instruments basically used one by one with their identification points and also their use. So let's get start. Uh, the very first instrument uh, you are seeing on the screen basically it's a drill. It is the most commonly used instrument in the orthopedics for creating holes in the bones before uh, screw placement. Alongside you are seeing the different type of pins and the wires. Now uh, in the blackish it's a basically wire cutter. Alongside you are seeing the T handle also in the focused view. This is known as handle uh, with its chuck and pin. It's uh, manually operated. It is also has got the same purpose but its power supply is not there. Uh, you are seeing now uh, which I am holding it's a pin. I am fitting it into the chuck. So in the very close of view uh, basically this uh, part is known as chuck it is used to hold the pins and alongside uh, this is the key which is used to tighten the drill so now uh, in the action you are clearly seeing we are applying uh, with the help of screwdriver we are tightening the screws uh, basically the instrument which i am uh, here uh, going to focus on the screen basically it's a nail extractor intramedullary nail extractor so in the close of view you are clearly seeing it's very close of view now, uh, this is the way we prepare drill for ortho uh, before surgery for orthopedic procedures this is the drill in action to create the hole in the bone before uh, screw placement uh, now uh, these are the different type of rimmers basically they are used to Enlarging and finishing uh, to accurate dimension holes that have been uh, drilled, bored or the cord. It cannot be used to originate a hole. Because of you, you are seeing the power rimmers. This is the tissue protector. It is used to protect the tissues during various orthopedic surgeries. So in the close of you, you are clearly seeing it. So now uh, you are seeing various type of screws on the screen. They can be the cortical screws or the cancellous screws and they may be cannulated screws basically they are used to fix the implants which are used in orthopedics like uh, plates now the instrument you are seeing on the screen basically it's the osteotome basically it is used for cutting or preparing the bone osteotome and the chisel looks alike but the osteotome is beveled on both sides but the chisel is beveled only on one the side on one side so now you are seeing the most uh, commonly used implant in case of orthopedics it's the basically intramedullary nail it is most commonly used in case of femur fracture put it intramedullary into the intramedullary cavity uh, this is basically bone nibbler it is used to nibble the bone its uh, double action reduces the force which is required for cutting the bone the close of view you can easily visualize this instrument now uh, you are seeing the cock screw a femoral head extractor uh, for the removal of stuck intramedullary nail in the close of view you can easy visu easily visualize this thing so uh, the next instrument is a murphy lane bone skid widely used to retract the soft tissue and the muscle away from the bone now you are seeing the bone pusher this also has got uh, some use in the orthopedics this is uh, the rasp basically it is used in the orthopedic uh, procedures to shape or trim the bone surface and the cartilage. This is also known as RASP. It is also used in dental, orthopedic and other general surgical procedures also. This is the most commonly used instrument in the orthopedics. It's the Homan's Retractor. This is mallet. It is used to give the controlled tap or the pressure on the chisel or the osteotome. Uh, you are seeing basically bone holder. They have long shanks and the strong jaws to hold and stabilize bone during orthopedic implant and other procedures. Once again you are seeing osteotome on your screen which I have already been discussed. It's beveled on both sides. Uh, this is basically a scare box osteotome. It has got the same purpose as the osteotome but only the shape is different. Now you are seeing the external fixators and all the instruments uh, which we are discussing basically one by one in the close of view different type of bone holders osteotomes pliers mallets and hormone detectors and the wire cutter also so in the close of view you are seeing all these instruments which we have already been discussed and some of them we are discussing ahead
This is the most basic set of orthopedics. You are seeing the wire cutter basically on your screen for cutting the K wires. It has got essential instrumental function in orthopedics. Now again you are seeing Homan's retractor. They are of different sizes which I have already discussed. Once again this is also mallet. It's also of different sizes and it's most commonly used in orthopedics during intramedullary nail insertion of the long bones. Now these are also Homan's retractor of different sizes used basically in orthopedic instruments. Now you are seeing a bone plier on your screen. Basically it's used for cutting, twisting and crimping wires and removing pins, gripping and handling the tissues. Now once again again you are seeing osteotom and the chisel. Again, I have already discussed the difference between osteotome and the chisel. Osteotome is beveled on both sides while chisel is beveled on one side. Again, you are seeing the different type of pliers which I have already uh, discussed. Used for cutting, twisting, crimping wires and removing pins. Uh, this is known as the bone curate. It is used for debulking instrument commonly used in orthopedic procedures to scrap away and remove fibrous tissue. The instrument you are seeing on the skin basically it's a bone cutter and used to cut the bones uh, in various orthopedic procedures especially in case of amputation also so in the next section again you are seeing different varieties and different categories of the bone holders and it's of different sizes uh, so in the close up view you are uh, seeing the bone holders used to hold bones uh, during an implant placement There are also different categories of the bone holders. They can be locked with the help of screw. Once again you are seeing bone cutters. Again its double action reduces the force for cutting the bone. Uh, this is the uh, basically wire bender used to bend the Krishner wires and the other uh, categories of the wires used in various procedures. Once again you are seeing the bone nibbler on your screen for nibbling the bones. It's a basically key which is used to tighten the screws. Once again you are seeing the bone nibbler on your screen in the close up view. This is the screwdriver which is used to tighten the screws in when you place the plates in. Again uh, you are seeing chisel and the next instrument is osteotome.